BioPerl is a collection of Perl modules that facilitate the development of Perl scripts for bioinformatics applications. It has played an integral role in the Human Genome Project. Topic: <laughs> Background. BioPerl is an active open source software project supported by the Open Bioinformatics Foundation. The first set of Perl codes of BioPerl was created by Tim Hubbard and John Back at MRC Center Cambridge, where the first genome sequencing was carried out by Fred Sanger. MRC Center was one of the hubs and birthplaces of modern bioinformatics as it had a large quantity of DNA sequences and 3D protein structures. Hubbard was using the th underscore lib.pl Perl library, which contained many useful Perl subroutines for bioinformatics. Back, Hubbard's first PhD student, created jong underscore lib.pl. Back merged the two Perl subroutine libraries into bio.pl. The name BioPerl was coined jointly by Back and Stephen Brenner at the Center for Protein Engineering CPE. In 1995, Brenner organized a BioPerl session at the Intelligent Systems for Molecular Biology conference, held in Cambridge. BioPerl had some users in coming months including Georg Fuelen who organized a training course in Germany. Fuelen's colleagues and students greatly extended BioPerl, this was further expanded by others, including Steve Chervitz who was actively developing Perl codes for his yeast genome database. The major expansion came when Cambridge student Ewan Burney joined the development team. The first stable release was on the 11th of June 2002. The most recent stable in terms of API release is 1.7.2 from the 7th of September 2017. There are also developer releases produced periodically. Version series 1.7.x is considered to be the most stable in terms of bugs version of BioPerl and is recommended for everyday use. In order to take advantage of BioPerl, the user needs a basic understanding of the Perl programming language including an understanding of how to use Perl references, modules, objects and methods. Topic Influence on the Human Genome Project The Human Genome Project faced several challenges during its lifetime. A few of these problems were solved when many of the genomics labs started to use Perl. The process of analyzing all of the DNA sequences was one such problem. Some labs built large monolithic systems with complex relational databases that took forever to debug and implement, and got surpassed by new technologies. Other labs learned to build modular, loosely coupled systems whose parts could be swapped in and out when new technologies arose. Many of the initial results from all of the labs were mixed. It was eventually discovered that many of the steps could be implemented as loosely coupled programs that were run with a Perl shell script. Another problem that was fixed was interchange of data. Each lab usually had different programs that they ran with their scripts, resulting in several conversions when comparing results. To fix this the labs collectively started using a super set of data. One script was used to convert from superset to each lab set and one was used to convert back. This minimized the number of scripts needed and data exchange became simplified with Perl. <laughs> <laughs> Features and examples BioPerl provides software modules for many of the typical tasks of bioinformatics programming. These include accessing nucleotide and peptide sequence data from local and remote databases example of accessing GenBank to retrieve a sequence. Use BioDB GenBank $db_obj equals BioDB GenBank to new 
dollar seq underscore obj equals dollar db underscore obj to get underscore seq underscore by underscore acc hashtag insert accession number transforming formats of database file records example code for transforming formats use bio secure my dollar usage equals all 2y place in format out file out file format my dollar in format equals shift or die dollar usage my dollar out file equals shift or die dollar usage my dollar out format equals shift or die dollar usage my dollar secuan topic bio secuo to new fh greater than asterisk stdin format equals greater than dollar in format my dollar secue out topic bio secuo to new file greater than greater than dollar out file format equals greater than dollar out format while my dollar in sec equals dollar secuan to next underscore seq dollar secu out to right underscore seq dollar and sec manipulating individual sequences example of gathering statistics for a given sequence use bio tools secu stats dollar seq underscore stats equals bio tools secu stats to new dollar secobe dollar weight equals dollar seq underscore stats to get underscore mul underscore wt dollar monomer underscore ref equals dollar seq underscore stats to count underscore monomers hash for nucleic acid sequence dollar codon underscore ref equals dollar seq underscore stats to count underscore codons searching for similar sequences Creating and manipulating sequence alignments Searching for genes and other structures on genomic DNA Developing machine-readable sequence annotations Usage In addition to being used directly by end users, BioPerl has also provided the base for a wide variety of bioinformatic tools, including amongst others SynBrowse, Genocoma, TFBS, MIMOX, BioParser, Degenerate Primer Design, Querying the public databases. Current comparative table new tools and algorithms from external developers are often integrated directly into BioPerl itself. Dealing with phylogenetic trees and nested taxa. FPC web tools. Topic: <laughs> Advantages. BioPerl was one of the first biological module repositories that increased its usability. It has very easy to install modules, along with a flexible global repository. BioPerl uses good test modules for a large variety of processes. <laughs> Disadvantages There are many ways to use BioPerl, from simple scripting to very complex object programming. This makes the language not clear and sometimes hard to understand. For as many modules that BioPerl has, some do not always work the way they are intended. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Related libraries in other programming languages. Several related bioinformatics libraries implemented in other programming languages exist as part of the Open Bioinformatics Foundation, including BioPython, BioJava, BioRuby, BioPHP, BioJays, 
Bioconductor